I'm sorry that I'm using my microphone to send a message to the world. As a journalist, this is my only weapon. Since Saturday morning, the state of Israel is under attack. Our beloved country is under attack. We are under an attack of a brutal, barbaric, inhumane terror organization. Not an entity, not a government, not a leadership, but a terror organization. Hamas murdered and slaughtered in cold blood innocent babies, children, elderly, women, and men, in their homes, in their beds. Hamas kidnapped and took captive innocent babies, children, elderly, women, and men. Hamas has targeted and fired thousands of rockets and missiles on innocent babies, children, elderly, women, and men, civilians, citizens of the sovereign state of Israel. And we, the citizens of the state of Israel, all of us, left and right, secular and religious, Jews, Christians, Druze, Muslims, minorities, and immigrants from all over the world stand united together in this fight. We are fighting for our lives, for our future, and mostly for the future of our children. Don't be mistaken. We experience difficulties, disagreements, and major disputes like any other country on this globe. But it does not mean that we will not protect ourselves and our children, our homeland. And for everyone out there who's not condemning this inhumane massacre, try to imagine for a second that you are waking up on Saturday morning with your children sleeping next to you, waking up to the sounds of sirens, and then in a split of a second, a terrorist comes into your home, your safe shelter, and starts murdering your family in front of your eyes. Can you imagine that? Look into the victim's eyes. Look into our eyes, in the eyes of all the citizens of this land and stand with us on the right side of history. בכמה מילים בעברית. ביום שאחרי אנחנו לא נקום לאותה ישראל. אנחנו לא נקום אותם אנשים. ואנחנו נקום חזקים יותר וטובים יותר ובתקווה גם מאוחדים יותר.